Our project is the passive seminar. What we designed is a uh, setup where we can read in a small signal coming from underwater. We can uh, emulate this in our test bench and take the data and calculate the location of the So. Why don't we start with the test? Okay, so um, this is the solar beacon that's in the water. So uh, our, we have a, well, it, the project is for an autonomous craft. So uh, there's a beacon and the autonomous craft needs to know where the beacon is in the water. So it sends out a beacon. And then that uh, is hit by uh, sound hits. Photographers at different times, and yeah, uh, the time interval difference allows you to calculate the angle. Uh, so this device will simulate the pinger. So we can change the coordinates of the uh, of the pinger in, in x y space, and then we can uh, s simulate the phase offsets of each of the waves for the four hydrophones and it sends it over to this device. Which is being picked up, and you can see it right here. These are the signals right here. Garrett, do you want to shift the uh, waveform? So as he rotates it, you can start to see there's a difference between the red and the yellow one that just appeared. So they were in phase right there. And then it can shift through. So that's the signals coming in from the test bench. And those are running through uh, a couple channels, a couple stages of analog, where we uh, gain up the signal, we filter, and then we run it through our ADCs. We have a CPLD that uh, access kind of our DMA, it reads all the data and it provides it to the DSP. The DSP, once it gets it, it does uh, pretty sophisticated algorithms where it steps up the signal in the sampling rate, and then it'll perform a convolution of the signal and get a time delay between each of the inputs. So as Garrett was saying, um, as signal comes in, you're going to get a time delay between a slight phase shift between each of these, and we're going to use that to calculate the Once the convolution is done, it's just down the map. And what we have here is a visual representation of the signal coming in based off of our angle that we're calculating. And as you rotate it, as Garrett is right now, you can start to see that it's starting to shift. And we can vary the location. 